Yeah, what up, Fred? And what is up to y'all? Welcome back to another one. Another pigeon extravaganza. I'm enjoying them. Uh, if y'all were here on the last one, y'all seen that we built uh, the new loft for the pe feral pigeons out back right here. I'm, get I'm getting ready to show you. And we got all the traps set, baited, and we've already caught eight feral pigeons. So, if you didn't see the last video, you have to go back and watch it. Uh, first off, right at the beginning of the video, I want to let y'all know I'm loving these trapping videos. And I want to know what y'all want to see. Uh, I bought the cheapest, smallest Amazon trap, but I don't know if it'll work or not. If you have any ideas for trapping that you want me to do, drop a comment down below and let me know. Here is the pigeons, the feral pigeons. They are extra, extra, extra skittish. I mean, they don't know what a loft is. The other birds, the actual loft birds, they're just at home. They don't mind me. They think I probably have food for them right now. These birds though, uh, we're gonna sell these birds. We're eventually gonna sell them. Uh, we're gonna sell all of them. And I think with the size of this loft, uh, I can hold, I'm gonna put some more living boxes in there, some more buckets, some more structure, um, so they have a place to sleep a little better. But I think I can hold, I don't know, probably comfortably, 20 any more over 20 uh it'll be getting pretty crowded in there so when we hit 20 we're gonna have to sell them off and when we do sell them i'm gonna take you guys along you guys are gonna know how much i'm charging per bird the whole nine yards let's get on the road i got my bait bucket ready to go let's go check the traps it's been raining literally all weekend long i have no idea how much rain we've we've got but it's a lot I'm excited to see what might be in the traps. Come on, Fred. Come on. Load them up. Good boy. Fred, doesn't matter if it's pigeon trapping. Doesn't matter if it's pigeon hunting. You know Fred wants to go on the truck with Dad. Before we get on the roof and uh, make a ruckus, look at this. How sick would it be to have this van as a hunting decoy rig? <laughs> John Lehman, I got my van. Oh, I wish, man. Oh, it's even got, look, it's even got the side exhaust. Oh, dude. All right, whose is this? I want it. <sighs> I'm always out of breath. Coming up them stairs. But we're here. I have a good feeling we'll have something. And if we don't, that's okay. Because last time we caught eight up here. They were all adult birds. And I don't believe a lot of eggs have hatched yet. Oh, dude, yes. 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 We got two more. So, what I think I might do here, check it out. Ooh, two, two blue checks. Good looking birds, okay. So the other day when uh, I ended the last video, I was like, darn it, I should have put and kept a couple bait birds in here. What bait birds are, uh, just like this, what I'm probably going to do, see I have these two both in one, I'll probably put one over here and one over here, uh, or I could keep them both, eh, I'll probably just keep them both in the one. Uh, it just shows confidence to the other birds that are around uh hey come on in we're in here it's basically it's easier to trick the other birds to go ahead and walk in that little door so i'm gonna get them watered up it looks like they have quite a bit of water i'm gonna get them some new food the thing about bait birds they're taken care of while they are in here they're completely fed they're completely watered and they have a sunshade over them and this time of year uh, being spring it doesn't get too hot so it's not hard on them whatsoever it's really not a lot of difference from being in the loft or here they're fed they're watered so we're gonna leave these two in here if y'all like that idea let me know uh, I think it's a good idea last year I did it and I caught a bunch 
But what I am going to do is gonna go ahead and do some new baiting. What I always do at this spot is I throw a little bit out there for him to see it. Like so. Just enough, not too much. Two handfuls is plenty. And then put some around the trap here. Not much. Doesn't take a lot. Just around it. And what we'll do, like I said, is we'll put some new food in the trap. So what them birds do, they see the food, they land, then they walk up here and start eating all this around, and then they just find the door and slip on in there. I am telling you, with the bait birds, it's like a 10 to 1. It's like way better chance of catching more birds. So we're going to see. We'll check this trap tomorrow and see if we have more than two in it. Well, we are up here, and I can already tell that we have some birds in the trap. I was really worried about this trap. Oh my goodness, we got a lot of them. I was worried about this trap because there's this little step that they have to step onto. Look at that. Holy smokes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! <laughs> I don't know whether to keep a bait bird in here or not. I'm gonna have to take some of them out. Let's get to work. So what's really awesome is that this trap is completely homemade. It's made up of burned wood. They burned it to make it look cool, but it's really neat. Just all staples, chicken wire. Uh, this comes from one of y'all. Uh, I think you and your dad make them. I completely, again, forgot your name. I feel very rude. But you sent it to me like two years ago, and we're finally using it. And it worked. I was really worried, though, not gonna lie, about this right here. Them stepping up on here and going in. But it worked great. First time I've ever trapped any birds in the homemade trap. Thank you for making this for me. It's a good little trap. I was just about to order a new one on Amazon and replace it, but clearly we don't need to. All right, we're gonna hurry up and get these out of here. Water, always gotta bring water along. Awesome. All right, what do we got? First one, young bird, really young. Obviously no bands, really young bird. That's the thing about up here. Uh, there's a lot more activity up on this roof in particular. Uh, a lot more pigeons coming and going and a ton of birds laying eggs and hatching up in all of these huge furnaces and AC. So this is when the young birds should be getting big enough to make mistakes like this. Sure enough, it started every spring uh, that's when the good hatch is, and even the hunting gets way better, so. Oh, here's a special one. Look at this one. This is a pretty one. That's a black check. Beautiful bird, but really young still. Really, really juvenile bird. This one's really cool. It's got some, like, auburn kind of mix in it. Again, really, really young bird. This one here is an older bird. This is the only adult bird in our trap today. It's a pretty one. Good looking, older blue bar. Heck yeah. Quality birds. So this with these six, I might leave this one in here. I think we'll leave this bait bird in here as well. I think leaving a bait bird in here at all times, if I can, uh, is a good option. And right now with the cool weather, it's a really good option. Oh. oh, it's always quite the jaunt when Freddie and I, come on, are going and checking all the pigeon traps. The pigeon traps are uh, obviously in town and then on the south side of town, which the south side of town from my house is I mean, all in all, if I go through town, it's probably like 25 minutes away, 30 minutes. We've been in the truck for a couple hours and look. Oh, big stretch, Freddy. Big stretch. You've just been snoozing. You have been sawing logs back there, haven't you, buddy? Yeah. 
That dog absolutely loves being in the truck. But let's grab our pigeons. Uh, we are going to take them back to the loft and put them in their temporary home. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. So, uh, this would be the second video. We made the first one. We trapped eight in the one trap. Today, we trapped eight <laughs> all together. Where are you going, chicks? What are you doing, huh? So yeah, we left, uh, what did we leave? Three in the traps. I left two in the one trap and then one in the other. But here we go. We are here. We are here. Oh, look, they just start going crazy. I don't want to bother them too much, but we're going to put these guys in here. This process, honestly, isn't the easiest. I do need to use two hands, so I'm just going to prop you guys up somewhere. Oh no! I just lost one. No! The only way to let him go is to come in here. <sighs> just lost a bird. It was a bird that we already had. I was trying to get the cage and myself in there and he went whoop! Right above. Out. Gone. Now unlike my loft birds, the ferals, if they get out, they gone. My loft birds here, if they get out, they'll come right back. They'll hang out. They won't go anywhere. What's up, guys? What are you guys doing? Are you hungry? It is feeding time for Shirley. Ah, uh, that stinks. Lost one. But check them out. Here they are. Got to be careful. I put a lock on this door just so my son Bodie can't open it. Because if you open it too long, they will get out. But check them out. Look, they're all huddled up, kind of freaking out at the moment. But let them get settled in. Let them get acclimated. Stop bothering them for a while. There you go, chickens. Look at them, they're hungry. They've been waiting. But I'm gonna get to feeding and watering the chickens. Gotta be careful. Ooh, ooh, check this out. All of my lodge fans, waterfowl fans, Check it out. We got all of the flags laid. Uh-huh, they came, dig safe came out and marked out where some new stuff's going in the ground. I will have a, a lodge update video coming, y'all. Uh, it'll explain everything new I got going on in my plans and we what we already have started. Uh, we already broke ground on the North 40, <laughs> extending the parking lot and doing a bunch of stuff. So. Lots of videos coming y'all's way. I hope you are enjoying the summertime videos. Yes, it's spring, but these are in fact the summertime videos. Y'all know that waterfowl season, whew, near and dear to the heart, and I'm missing it more than ever right now. Uh, going through this last season with all of the guides and all of the clients every single day here on the property, walking back and forth right here enjoying their time, cleaning birds, cooking at night, all of the camaraderie that was had. I cannot wait to do it again this year, this season, 2021-22 season, and do it bigger and better than ever. So again, I want to uh, remind you guys, if you guys wanna book a hunt here at Sand Hill Flyway at my lodge for this upcoming season, uh, all the time, every single video, Sand Hill Flyway website is linked down in the description below. All you gotta do is go down there and uh, go to the website and up in the right corner, there will be an inquire to book. Fill that out, it's basically like a registration form and we, me and or my wife Beth will get a hold of you. Lots of uh, father sons, lots of uh, wife and uh, husband, I think we have some bachelor bachelorette parties. I mean, literally any and everything, groups of six or eight, we welcome anyone and everyone. So if you're uh, interested in inquiring about a hunt, do not hesitate and hurry up because it is filling up. But subscribe if you haven't. I'm glad y'all are here. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. I love making these videos for you. Whatever you want me to do on these pigeon videos, let me know right now down in the comment section. Whatever witty idea you have for a video, let your boy know. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism. Pest.